Saving your files to SharePoint is a great way of working collaboratively. Sometimes you'll find that you need to send a file that you have in SharePoint via email to someone else. There are a few different ways in which you can do this. First, you'll need to open your desktop version of Outlook. Then open a new email by clicking New Email, which is located at the top left-hand side of your Outlook. A new email window will open. You will now need to select Attach File. A drop-down menu will show your recent items and give you two options at the bottom to browse. Browse web locations and browse this PC. If you're sending a file to one of your colleagues who has access to SharePoint, you can send them a link to the document which means that if they have permission, they can work collaboratively on it with you. To do this, select Browse Web Locations, choose SharePoint, then select the SharePoint site you want to open. A file explorer box will open. You will notice that you're now in your SharePoint site. Locate the file you want to send by entering the folder, find the file, click it and press insert. A pop-up box will appear and you have the option to either share as OneDrive link or attach as copy. Select the first option, share as OneDrive link. It may take a few minutes to attach the file to your email. When it does, you will notice it has a small white cloud next to the file type, which means that the file exists online only. Working with online only files is great for collaborative working, as multiple people can work on the same document with no sync issues. However, to access this file, the recipient will need to be on SharePoint because you're not sending a copy of the file. You're sending a link to the file which is located within SharePoint. You can change the permission of this file by selecting the downward pointing arrow on the attached file and select Change Permissions. You can now choose whether the recipient or organisation can edit or view this document. If you've selected Share as OneDrive link and realise the recipient does not have SharePoint, Simply click the downward pointing arrow on the attached file. Then select Attach as copy. The document will download and a local copy of the file will be attached to the email. Another way to send a SharePoint file by email to someone who does not have SharePoint is by using Files on Demand. If you have not yet enabled Files on Demand, click here to learn how to do so. When you have Files on Demand set up, open a new email and select Attach File. Then browse this PC. On the left hand side of the file explorer, you will notice SharePoint. Locate the file you would like to attach and press insert. You will notice that the cloud status icon within the file explorer has changed to a circle with a green outline and green tick. This means that you are downloading the file locally and attaching a copy. To learn more about what each status icon means, click here. The issue with working and sending local files that also exist on SharePoint is that you can run into sync issues if two people are working on the same file without internet access. Once your file is attached, all that's left to do is fill in the recipient's email address, a subject and the main body of your email, then it's ready to send. We hope you found this useful. For more videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel.